so this is the spotlight, and I'm gonna show you three ways to use the spotlight in a clever way that you didn't th did th th you didn't think to do prior to today, or you did, and I'm very dense. Okay, so what the heck is a Leco? Well, it's a spotlight mount, and it comes. It's a few. Basically, it's like a it's like a lens that you would normally put on a camera, but you put it on a light bulb, and it focuses the light. Oh, that's it. <laughs> This is the Leco right here, this entire section. And then this thing on the back is actually the light. So the, 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 the Leco is actually what you mount to the stand because it is so big. And it has a few key components. The first one is this part, which is the focusing lens. This part that telescopes back and forth and allows you to focus the lens. And then you have these things called cutters and you essentially can move these up and down and cut the light. I'm going to show you what that is later. And then you have this really nifty thing called a gobo, which is this ring right here. And you can put stuff in here and then shape the light however you want to. I don't have anything to put in that because the kit that I rented doesn't have any gobos. So I can't show you what that does, but it is pretty cool. So that's how, that's Alico. That's how you build out Alico. But what can we do with it? I will show you. Scenario number one is lighting in a small space. So for instance, uh, here I am in a fake room that is supposed to be, supposed to be small. It's a small, a small room. And so what I did was I took the Alico, the spotlight, and I put it far away because you can put it like in a different room or in the hallway or across the hallway in a different room you can do both and then i send the light through the spotlight because it's a very narrow beam into the room that i'm shooting in and then all i have to do in that room is add light modifiers like for instance dif dif diffusion what does that look like well right now it looks like i honestly it looks like i'm in a, in a seinfeld video but if i so what i had what i do is i take diffusion and i just put the diffusion in the room with me the lighting steps are out in a different space so i'm gonna do that and you're gonna see what it looks like so first what's the diffusion see this big white sheet right here this is called roscoe roscoe 216 and i'm all i'm gonna do is rotate it in front of the light and you'll see what happens so before, Whoa. after, and I look handsome now. But so you can see though, what this does is it takes it takes the, the light that you're using and then it makes it softer and more flattering. And the reason it does that is because what you're doing is you're effectively taking the light source and bringing it close to your subject, making it a larger light source, which then wraps the light around the subject, i.e. making a much more flattering image. <laughs> I blacked out there for a second. It looks cool though, right? Come on, come on. I'm all tangled up. Okay, this next one. Okay, this next one I think is called the, I'm gonna call it the Looney Tune shot. So what I have is my diffusion right there. And okay, so now I'm gonna step behind it and I'm gonna make a bunch of shadows because I can project the light and make shadows. Now I'm really close to the light so it doesn't look like anything. But if I come up like right here, you can see me. Hi. You could use this for, you know, whatever you want. You could use it for babies, popsicles, automotive parts, lamp posts, forks, extension cords, horse. You could <laughs> plants, squares, tape. You could use it for anything. You could Honestly, you, you could you can use it for anything. Projector. And the third and final way that I'm going to talk about today is with product highlights. Here's the thing about Alico. Oh, let me go grab it real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, so now we have our spotlight as we know it and as we love it. But something you can do with these Lecos is because they have these things in them that allow for you to cut the light inside of the light fixture. <laughs> What does that mean, Nick? I'll tell you exactly what that means. See how the light all over the map, all over the map. Well, now I'm gonna cut the light inside of the Leco to make it look better. All right, let's do it. Okay, so I can cut the left side of the light like this. I can cut the top of the light like that. I can cut the bottom of the light like that. And I can cut the left side of the light like that. Now I just have light on the subject. But Nick, it's out of focus. Well, that's the cool thing about Leco lamp is they also have a focus point. Can focus the lens like this and then adjust accordingly like this. Would you look at that? This painting has light on it now, which is amazing. It's actually kind of trippy. So you can use this to highlight a product in the background of your scene if you want them to look at one thing in particular, which is this thing. Pretty rad. That's three ways how to use Alico. I'm Nick Friend and I will see you later. I hope you learned something. Okay, bye.